Hi class, this is Susan. I am here with my LinkedIn profile. So here I am. Um, I wanted to review this with you. I've made some changes on this. Um, as, as I've been teaching this course, I'm realizing that I'm not really keeping up to date on my own page, and that's a serious mistake, especially because, frankly, um, Drexel is having a lot of budget issues, and, um, you know, it's not really certain. Um, you know, it's not really certain for any of us who don't have tenure, you know, what's going to happen. So even though I have a full-time position and I really love working at Drexel, I do feel like it's the smart thing to do is have my resume and my LinkedIn profile kind of up and ready and, you know, being preparing because you never know, right? So I changed. Um, so I have this background picture, which I really like. I feel like it um, just kind of expresses something about my personality and my work attitude and my work ethic. I feel like it's really organic to me. My picture is kind of old. <laughs> it's at least, um, I'm going to say it could be even be like 10 years old, which is bad because I certainly don't look this young anymore. I don't look super old, but I should really have a picture that's a little bit more um, up to date and current. So I am working on that. I'm leaving this here for now. I did change my uh, title here. I had my, you know, my title as, you know, teaching faculty at Drexel University. And now I put director of online courses, QM certified online course developer. Um, I put these in because I feel that if I did have to look for another job or find another job, um, I, and it, within higher ed, I think that um, director of like a, a something, a role in online learning might be my best bet because faculty jobs are super hard to come by um, and frankly just not really super stable right now in the higher education market so i would look for something maybe online and this would be also be transferable to you know the private sector hopefully uh, so i did that and then um, i wanted to point this out you can Say that you're open to job opportunities, and this is private. I'm only seeing this. You're not going to see this, so you don't have to worry about that. And then, uh, but you should definitely fill this out. Now, I also um, added. I don't know why these aren't coming up because they usually do. Um, I added a video that uh, I did for Drexel called "Learn from the Best." It's about social media, and then I have a podcast. So if you have some multimedia or something that is very professional, looks great. This is a good place to add it. You can also add it down below. I actually might add in um, uh, a few more um, a few more things here. I have like a PowerPoint presentation that I did that's very good on the social job search. It was actually a webinar, but I don't have access to the webinar from Drexel, but I do have the PowerPoint, so I can add that. So I'm working on it. And again, I'm really kind of mad that these aren't coming up a little bit better, but um, because they were before. Oh, it's probably because I'm recording my screen. Okay, so with my experience, I actually moved this here to the first thing, and it's really easy to do this. You can drag and move around your experience. Now, the reason why you might want to do this is when you upload your resume, um, it might actually force you into having it, like it might just automatically populate by chronology. So you, what you need to do is then come in and fix that so that your most relevant professional experience is first. So it's super easy to do that. So the other thing that I did was I had, didn't have this on here before. I actually added on my um, older uh, professional background job. My first job in publishing, I think it was in 1991, although it might have been a little later. It's hard to remember. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, I worked for a book publisher. And I did a lot of publicity and brand management. I did bookings. I did a lot. So I put that in there. And even though I don't like that, I feel so dated. But what can you do? And then I just kind of snuck in sort of more of a professional kind of summary of what I did after running press till when I started teaching full time um, in 2006. So um, just to give an idea of my range here. Um, so and you know the books that I've done. So I added that because I felt like that was the smart thing to do. That's my education. I have to fix this. This is a book cover of a book I wrote. I'm actually thinking of going into Canva and putting all of my books, like all the book covers in sort of a nice like gallery and 
Obviously, the sizing um, didn't come out here. I did try to resize the photo and I re-uploaded it, but for some reason it was not working. So I think I'm going to use another. Canva has a free photo editor. I'm just going to plop it in there. So I'm going to do that. And down here I have my QM Certified Online Course Reviewer. I have to um, finish my social media marketing cert certification. Um, that I'm doing through Hootsuite, and I'm going to add that. And some of you already have that, so you're beating me in that category. Good for you. And then I have my volunteer experience, um, and then I have my skills and endorsements. I might want to kind of move some of these around. I have, um, you know, more like skills and endorsements. So I want to start working on that and kind of optimizing, you know, for the ones that I, you know, obviously that I would want first. So I'm going to be working on that. So I hope this is helpful for you. And I want you to really get your do the best you can on your photo. Um, I have um, a student of mine who she's graduating um, after this term and I'm going to ask, ask her if I can hire her to do my background photo. And so I'll be doing that. And um, you know, and the other thing to, to do is to really get on here. And I want to give a shout out to um, Sari, she is really, um, you're always going to see her here because she's always posting. She is, um, she, there's like three students that I have from Drexel who are so good at, you know, really getting out there. And, and I have to say, Sari's the best. So Sari, shout out to you um, for really getting on here and sharing um, things and being a regular presence. So you're a good um, inspiration for all of us. All right, so um, I am looking to see, looking forward to seeing your um, LinkedIn profiles. And I, I also want to say this, I think just for what you're going, going to be doing here, like with having keywords, images, you're really going to be setting yourself apart um, from a lot of people um, on LinkedIn. And especially if you have a really fleshed out um, about section, um, my about section's always been pretty fleshed out. I, I have decided to do some skills here um, just to kind of get other, you know, things in here. I did my, some of my, um, you know, my passions like working in branding and um, I think what's a little hard for me is that I, you know, I can do PR, I can do online, I can write, you know, and it's so it's sort of there's a lot of different directions to go in. Um, but I think the smart thing to do if you are looking for a job is to go where you think your best um, choices are. And then you can certainly always find another job and apply to that and, you know, and say, if you looked on my LinkedIn profile, you might be surprised to see that I'm actually applying for this job, but I am and here's why. Um, and oh, we have cover letters coming up in week eight. I will, um, I just want to assure you all that this is one of my areas of specialty. I just helped one of the um, students in who was in uh, 698, I think, last term. She reached out and I um, helped her with her um, cover letter. And I have to say, I was really impressed. She did a great job. She's still working on it. And she said, I can share it with you when she's done. So please reach out with questions and please make sure that you are getting on here and doing the networking, follow companies follow, um, join some groups, follow associations, and start to tune in to the connections. Okay, you have to read the article about connections that's in resources. There's first, second, and third degree. It's really important to understand how to utilize them. Okay, so I will see you all soon, and um, that's it. Have a great week.